Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will learn about designing of low pass RC filter. Now, we know that RC filter would be something like this uh, the capacitor could be here and the resistor here, or as it is shown, resistor here and the capacitor here. Now, how do we know whether it is a low pass or a high pass? If you look at the capacitor, the capacitor behaves like short circuit at high frequency. So at high frequency, the, any signal from here will pass through this short circuit and come back. It will not go forward. And therefore, we can say that it is stopping the high frequency and so passing the low frequency. So this is a low pass filter. So it blocks high frequencies and passes low frequencies. And the ideal filter would be something like this that up to certain frequency it will uh, just multiply the signal by one that means no attenuation but after that frequency it will multiply the signal by zero so no signal will pass but the actual filter is, is not like that actual filter will be something like this now how do we say that which point from which point we can take it to be zero and from uh, which point we take it to be one so a point has been defined that wherever this voltage is 0 0.7, 0 0.707 or under root 2 times the actual, that is the called the critical frequency or cutoff frequency. And this is omega c or it is called fc. So the critical frequency is that frequency for which the ratio of output to input voltage is approximately 0.7%. Now in our case, uh, we'll be uh, taking help of this diagram. Now this is the input-output ratio and this is the logarithmic scale for actual frequency divided by cutoff frequency. Now this 0.7.7 will be some here, here, here. So this will be the uh, 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 cutoff frequency, actually here it is. 1. Okay. Now the frequency for critical frequency is given by this for RC filter 1 over 2 pi RC and the formula for output input voltage is given by this formula. Magnitude of the voltage is equal to 1 over under root 1 plus FFC square or power half whatever. So we'll use this formula to calculate the values. Now in the design method, uh, first of all we have to find the critical frequency Fc and then we have to select R and C to satisfy this frequency. We have to select a standard capacitor first of all uh, from the list of capacitors, standard capacitors. And then we have to calculate R and whatever value of R we get, we have to actually find a value nearest to the standard value. And one point here that if the, the resistance value uh, sh should not be less than 1 kilo and should not be greater than 1 mega, otherwise we have to redesign it. We see that. Okay, now here is a question. A measurement signal has a frequency of uh, less than 1 kilohertz, but there is unwanted noise at about 1 megahertz. So if you see in the form of a diagram, it is something like this. 1 kilohertz and below is the our actual signal, but we have a noise at 1 megahertz. So we'll design a low pass filter which should allow this low pass signal to pass but it should attenuate the high pass signal. So uh, our diagram would look like this now. This filter design will cut or eliminate the uh, signal at 1 megahertz. The design a low pass filter that attenuates the noise to 1%. Now the requirement is that this noise should be attenuated to 1% of its actual value. And then the next part of the question, what is the effect on the measured frequency at 1 kilohertz? So 
when uh, we have implemented the filter what will happen to the our original signal will this be attenuated or uh, and if attenuated by how much percent okay so we know this formula we'll use equation this to determine the critical frequency fc which will give v out over v in to be 0.01 or 1 percent at 1 megahertz so actually we are keeping this in mind we want to minimize this to 1 percent so our now this value is 0.01 f is 1 megahertz because that is what we want to attenuate and fc will calculate for this so following the steps we can find fc to be 10 kilohertz so now we'll design a filter with fc 10 kilohertz so it should be something here it will be uh, 0.707 percent at this point okay so fc 10 kilohertz we'll design now using this formula 1 over 2 pi rc and first as we had discussed that first we have to select a capacitor from the standard values from this table so let's select a capacitor of 0 0.47 microfarad so this is here 0 0.47 is a standard value putting 0 0.47 in this formula we have to find r so the formula can be rearranged this was the formula from here this and this is the formula for R. So now putting in the values 2 pi 1 megahertz and the capacitor value sorry I'm sorry this is not 1 megahertz this is FC FC is 10 kilohertz so this is 10 kilohertz so the resistance value is 33.9 now as we have discussed that it has to be uh, if it is below 1 kilohertz or above 1 megahertz then we have to try a different value of capacitor now in our case it is less than 1 kilohertz so this value of capacitor is not suitable so we'll take another value so let's try 0 0.01 microfarad so we're going lesser value and now with this value the r will be 1591 now this is not a standard value standard value is somewhere here the or the list is big so but you can see here it is 15 that means it could be 150 it means it could be 1500 so 1500 or 1.5 kilo will be considered as the standard value so let's take that value try standard value of 1.5 kilo you could have also tried 1.54 or 1.58 but this is simpler to work with so 1.5 kilo and now that we have taken a resistance of 1.5 kilo instead of 1591 the frequency will change so the cutoff frequency will now be putting in the value of the uh, in this formula the resistance and the capacitance the new critical frequency or cutoff frequency is 10.6 kilohertz so this is the new frequency new cutoff frequency and what will be its effect okay earlier we had designed this to cut this to one percent but now this filter is all coming below therefore it will further attenuate the noise but at the same time it will also attenuate the input signal so let's see now with this value of 10.6 kilohertz the attenuation will be 9.9 uh, .9 into 10 raised to the power 3 instead of uh, 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 so this is better this is attenuating better than the calculated one earlier but it will also attenuate the uh, input signal at 1 kilohertz this was for 1 megahertz here we are talking but our input signal is 1 kilo 
So in the formula, if you put one kilo, then it is attenuating the original signal 2.996. That means about 4% reduction will be in uh, in the original signal. So this is how uh, uh, you design a low pass filter. And just for information, if you have to design an LC filter, then you can use this formula where omega is actually 2 pi fc. So I hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve uh, or design a low pass filter. Thank you.